Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jessica Pimentel and I'm a flight attendant for a major US airline and I am currently just getting in from my little commute from Miami and I have an ODAN tonight. I know I said I would never work an ODAN again, but here I am. Let's go. Just kidding, I am actually just getting into my car because I have some errands I need to run and my sign-in is not for another two hours. So I'm already all meal prepped and ready to go for the ODAN. And luckily this one is way better than the last one I did because the last one I did, I absolutely hated it. But I have like seven hours behind the door once I get there tonight. So it is technically an ODAN, but really it's just like a seven hour layover. So good, whatever, works for me. I'm gonna go run some errands and then I should be back to the airport with still like an hour left to kill and then I'm gonna go ahead and let you know what position I am and what airplane I'm on. It just started raining out of nowhere. Oh my God, the weather is crazy. Okay, you guys, I was the worst vlogger of all time. I was on a triple seven, I was number three. Um, I'm just getting to my hotel right now. I am in Connecticut, Hartford, Connecticut. And yeah, gonna go ahead and have about, it is, what time is it? It is 10.46, it's 10.46 currently. And my pickup, or we walked to the air, the hotel airport. So that actually was worked out really well. So we're staying like right, like literally it was a five minute walk. So I'll probably wake up at about, 4.50 tomorrow morning and leave at 5.10. So it's really not gonna take me much to get ready. Like it is what it is. It's an ODAN, it's nothing special. The flight's at 6.05. So really I am just going to sleep right now and then be ready to go. But for 10, for getting in my room at 10.46, I can probably like close my eyes and go to sleep by like 11.30 after I shower and everything. That's not too bad. I mean, it's not awful. The last ODAN I did was awful. Like I got to the room at like, 145 and then the pickup was at five so that was awful or 445 so we are in better terms already but still i'll let you know guys how i feel in the morning and i'll let you know if i hate my life or not so we'll see i also did meal prep for not really this trip but i commuted in to work like i had said earlier so i did meal prep for my day and for tomorrow and i have a three day starting tomorrow which i will explain later so I have things cooked already, and then when I go home tomorrow, I'll get some more stuff. So this is what I meal prepped. Just have some salsa here, some cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, some chicken, carrots. I have a bunch of these peanut butter things, some hummus, some tortillas, some bell peppers, and these are some sweet peas, and then raspberries and strawberries. And All that's right, it. now I am really going to sleep. Um, gonna wind down, shower, maybe have like something, and then knock out. everyone it is about 5 10 in the morning i am leaving my hotel room right now to walk to the gate it's probably gonna take me about 10 minutes just to get there and that's it i'm done so it was very quick i feel so much better this time around than i did the other time around having those extra hours to sleep really makes a difference of course i could be sleeping right now as well but i do feel better so i will let you know how i feel during or not during but after the flight because i do have to drive an hour and a half home today so that should be interesting but I have coffee ready already with me and so that way I don't have to buy it at the airport and it's easy to go and easy and ready to go all right I'll see you guys later all right everyone I'm back in Charlotte in the parking lot looking for my car and of course I have no idea where I put it because honestly I don't know why I don't like text myself the, the like the letter of where I go because I always forget so I'm just gonna do a quick little gander and hopefully find it. Anyway, flight was really easy. Um, my crew was the best, honestly, amazing, amazing crew. Love them. And now I'm just gonna drive an hour and a half home 
and call it a day. I feel a lot better than I did the last time I did an Odan, like night and day better. Um, but I got lost on my way to the airport this morning and yeah, it was bad, but oh well, I, I figured it out. I pretty much got lost because I followed the, followed the crew the night before out and I wasn't paying attention. So I would just went the wrong way and ended up in the wrong spot and was almost super late to the flight, but I made it there with like five minutes to spare. Okay, I am showered and ready to take a nap. I'm going to take a nap for two hours and maybe two and a half hours. I'm not 100% sure. Um, and then I'm going to wake up. I put my trip that I have on tonight on the trade board to see if I can get it swapped or something like that. Maybe even drop it. I don't know. If I don't have to work tonight, that'd be fine. I, I would be okay with picking up a trip for tomorrow morning. But obviously, if I can't do that, then I'm going to work tonight. My trip tonight's actually really good. It's a Seattle three day. So I have a 24 hour layover in Seattle or like 22 hour layover in Seattle and it's a one one. So I get there, but then I have to work a red eye back, which is fine. Um, that's just the way that my trips have been set up this month. So that's what, that's how the cards have been dealt. It feels nice to be home because I have not been home in like a month. It feels like because of like trying to move to Florida and everything. So we'll see how things go, but I'm going to go ahead and take a nap, go to the gym, wake up, get ready. I have plenty of time until my sign-in. My sign-in is not till like 8 p.m., so I have plenty of time. All right, I'm already back to work, going to Seattle, one leg there, 22-hour layover, one leg back, and I'm the number one, and we are on a 321, so... Let's go. It's been a busy day. I will debrief later. Tori is meeting me on this layover, so I'm super excited. So I'm in Seattle with Tori. Totally forgot to film anything. <laughs> Just gonna lie here and squish her. <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> oh yeah, it's Christmas time in my eyes. Anyways, we Christmas are gonna have October. Christmas in October. <laughs> We're gonna have a fun layover in Seattle tomorrow. She is the best of friend ever. She came all the way to visit me. And yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and film tomorrow because we are going to bed. So we're going up early and have a fun day. What are we gonna get up to? Who knows? Who knows? Probably rob a bank. And um, then jump into a river somewhere. No, I'm just kidding. Maybe go to the gum wall. Yeah, just <laughs> probably gonna do that, actually. Probably really gonna do that. <laughs> Good morning! So, Tori and I are gonna go on a hike. Never really done this in Seattle. We're taking public transportation because Uber was $65. <laughs> Your girls ain't got that kind of money. Yeah, I ain't got that kind of money for a ride. So we're gonna Uber there and hopefully do a hike. The hike that we're looking at is like four miles, 4.5 miles. So hopefully it works out and then we're gonna come back, do Pike's Place and all that good stuff. something trail it is so cutesy nice view. nice view people are hanging out up here obviously it's too cold for us we are going to just run right back down but overall the whole thing is about 4.5 miles it was super easy to get here on the train it was like a bus actually it was a bus it was a bus it was not a train sorry it was a bus it was a bus it was like 554 a bus or something um right yeah five five four yeah anyway it was super easy to get here we just took a train we took a bus Sorry, to Issaquah, we took a bus. And, and then we Ubered for like five minutes from the bus stop to the trail. Yeah, and it was a Tesla Uber. He was living yeah. his best life. Anyways, okay, we're going to take some cute pics and be cute BFFs and just, you know, enjoy the rest of the layover. <laughs>
welcome to Pike Place and we are just walking through the Pike Place Market and we had some Greek food and now we're gonna have this really really popular place called Perovsky Perovsky and it's a Russian place and it's delicious. I've been here before like years ago so yeah we're about to get something savory and something sweet. So I've definitely been to the first Starbucks before when I came here a long time ago, but what's the point of going and waiting in line to go to the very first Starbucks? You can just go to the one up the road that's not the first one. Yeah. Not wait in a line. You yeah. just don't have to wait. It's so like to wait in a line. Also, I'm not even a huge shopping. I'm not even a huge Starbucks person anyway. I'm kind of a team Dunkin' Donuts. I'm a dunk I'm a donut. It's cheaper. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Like, honestly, just take your pick. Choose. Which, which one do you want? Some strawberry, some mint. Ew, this B is chosen mint. I'm assuming that's the blue flavor. <laughs> we have to actually, you know, get ready for to add. We're going to add to the masterpiece. Our flavor is extra <laughs> polar ice. <laughs> Very abrupt, but I am heading down to pick, get picked up because it's time to go. Tori already left. I already took a three-hour nap because I have a red eye right now, and everything is all good. Um, I just didn't have time to film because I really was rushing to sleep, and Tori was rushing to leave because she had to catch a flight, and unfortunately, she had like a little mishap with her flight, so it didn't work out the way that we were hoping, but I am on my way. To the airport now and hoping to have a smooth red eye. I'm not prepared. Yes, I am. I'm super prepared. Let's do this. All right, everyone. Just wanted to come in here and do a quick little voiceover and just say, yes, I did have a spray tan and I was getting super dark as the time was going by, but I had amazing layover and just wanted to throw that in there. <laughs> All right. I'm done with this trip. Currently on the air shuttle and yeah ripped my nylons love that for me all right trip is over that red eye was you know a red eye i don't prefer to work red eyes but you know gotta do what you gotta do at least now i'm back early it is still dark outside it's definitely getting colder i will say this is one of those trips where you're like okay definitely time to bring out the winter clothes clothes because it's chilly. Anywho, unfortunately I ripped my nylons, but yeah, kind of annoying, but whatever. You can't see, it's just underneath my skirt, so it's fine, but I definitely need to buy more. These were kind of like cheap ones, so learned my lesson on that. Anyway, time to go home. See y'all in the next one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye.